Okay, I know I am late with this video. I know it's fucking, we're halfway through January. But I don't know if I done that last year as well. Video to you by Cake Bars, not really. Anyway, so, that's sexy fucking, oh, I love it. Yeah, look at that, look at that angle. Yeah, room is a lot more fucking, a lot more, um, spaced out now. Yeah. Because I can move this, some stuff out of here. Anyway, still my Christmas pajamas there. And it's, uh, it is January. Yeah, it's like near the end of January. What I mean, I'll be here back in December with them. So, you know, back in December. Yeah, got my little Buzz Lightyear fucking Nightmare on the Street. I might do that as well. The fucking, um, I might do a room tour. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to do what I got for Christmas 2023 in 2024. So, yeah, then next year what I got for Christmas in 2024, in 2025. Anyway, whatever. That is if I'm a good boy this year. Okay, right. So, got a lot of movies. Um, I put them in the same section that I did last, last year. So, I don't know if you can see all that. Um, and then the films I got last year, I kind of, so I had to move some of them up here. Because it's getting overcrowded. So, yeah, I'm going to reorganize a few of them as well from all the years. So, anyway, first up, we got one of my favorite films of 2023. That list is coming out soon, by the way, the favourite films. John Wick Chapter 4, which honestly is possibly the best one, or maybe next to the first one. I think that this was amazing. Um, the action is unbelievable. It was a great finale, although they're doing a fifth one, so it's not really a finale. But still, awesome film. Here's the front. Oh, hold on, I'm going to turn the fucking light on. Because, uh, yeah, I've got a shitty phone this year, so... Uh, no, I didn't get that for Christmas, the phone, but you know what I mean. Got this for Christmas, anyway. Front, spine, the back. I will have a review for this up eventually when I review the toward one. Um, Yeah. Got the little, little IV then. So, yeah, I'm going to rewatch this. The longest of the trilogy. Um, It's actually just shy of being away from three hours long, and it's, it's brilliant. It's one of my favorite films of last year. Next, my second favourite movie of last year, Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse. Fucking amazing film. Saw this in the fucking movie theatre and cinema. I cannot wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse. I don't know if that's out this year. I think it might have been pushed back. But, um, yeah. I, uh, spoiled part of my, um, top list. Oh, well. Fuck. Anyway. But, yeah. So, I love this film. The animation's incredible. I... Rewatched it on Blu ray, it's amazing. So, front, spine, back, amazing quality. Uh, Lionsgate and Sony. Ugh. Oh, I, I love this fucking disc. Little shot from the movie there on the disc. Um, just a great movie, really. So, I got that. Another movie. Um, I saw this in the theater last year because it didn't come out in Ireland in 2022. Two, but it did in 2023 and it came out in 2022 and I've seen it in cinema and rewatched the Blu-ray and that is Darren Aronofsky's The Whale I love this movie it's based off a play I thought Brendan Fraser was phenomenal in it it's his best performance um, that I've seen him in um, some people love this some people hate it I love it I fucking love A24 anyway so front spine back it's a German Blu-ray because this fucking movie is impossible to get on other ones Oscars, Oscar, been two Oscars, yeah. It's it's a hard one to actually get on um other forms of physical media. Like I can't get ones that are out of print. Like it's some of them are like either not not that they're out of print, sorry, that some of them are not available in like the region area, like over here. Or the DVDs has it, but I don't want to watch it on DVD, I wanna watch it on fucking Blu-ray or 4K. It is you know even though DVD would be fine quality and the movie's meant to have like low quality anyway. Look, I prefer fucking HD, right? 
Leave me, leave me alone. A uh, film I watched for the first time over Christmas. Um, film I've actually wanted to watch for years is uh, Watership Down. Fuck me, this movie is dark. This movie is dark. But, um, hold on, did I? Did I show the way of it? Hold on. Did I show, like, the, the side of it? Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Like, I know I showed it, but I'm not. Oh, I did, yeah. I'll just show it again. Fuck it. Um, OCD kicking in. Yay. Anyway. Um, but, yeah. Watership Down. Very gory in parts. Very dark animated film. I absolutely loved it, though. Great British animated film. Um, you know, you got fucking John Hort as a voice in there. Um, you know, can't, can't go wrong with him. Rest in peace, John Hurt. Um, yeah, phenomenal animated movie. I haven't seen the other BBC fucking uh, CGI series that they've done, but it would be nice to watch that at some stage. You know, I, I think it was actually, yeah, it was on Netflix as well. Um, the original Wicker Man, which I watched, I already done my movie reaction for the remake. I love this film. I watched this for the first time over Christmas. Um, there's three different cuts on it, I believe. Yeah, there's the final cut. Uh, Kino Fossing. Or, sorry, that's the German. It's the fucking German, but right, sorry. There's the theatrical cut, final cut, director's cut. I watched the theatrical. I'm going to watch the other two cuts at some stage. Great movie, brilliant Scottish film, brilliant horror film. It definitely influenced Midsummer or Midsummer, whatever you want to call it. Um, Christopher Lee's in it as well. Great film. Front span, back. Some good songs in it as well. Like it's not a musical, but there are like songs and it's quite cheeky. And also comes with a poster, which I think is cool. Um, so yeah, one of my favorite movies. Um, my friend actually has a, another poster of it as well. Um, the guy's house that I was in. Uh, one of my favourite comedies of 2023, Strays. Uh, I watched this for the first time over Christmas on Blu-ray as well. Never got a chance to see it in theatre, but great movie. Uh, yeah, basically, very funny. I don't know if I actually need to say front spine and back. I could just show the fucking thing. You know what I mean? Get over it, you hewers. Anyway, fuck off. Eat me ass, right? My favourite movie of last year that I've I've seen in cinema three times and two fucking times on Blu-ray. Not just for Florence Pugh. Anyway, is Oppenheimer, which has now been fucking... Um, it's been nominated for like a bunch of Golden Globes and won a few. No, not nominated. It was nominated and it won a bunch of Golden Globes. Sorry. Um, and it's been nominated for Oscars. Killian Murphy better get the Oscar. He makes those Irish people look amazing. And um, which we are. But Oppenheimer is amazing. Got such a fucking ensemble cast. It's my favorite Christopher Nolan movie. Not just because it's the one that came out last year, but like, and it's his latest one. But it genuinely is his best film. Um. The way it's shot, the acting, everything about it. Print of the Blu-ray is amazing. I uh, love this fucking slipcover. Uh, front. Spine. But, see what I mean? I'm doing it again. It's just Sorry, it's just habit at this stage. It looks amazing on the big screen. Especially like the first time I've seen it. Because um, like the people I was with were great. But also, the fucking... The, the cinema screen that I went to was unbelievable. Um print so yeah and then the print on this blu-ray is unbelievable as well and actually i find that the um the thing that christopher nolan's like imax kind of back up the the widescreen full screen didn't annoy me that much which was nice but um yeah the two discs bonus features definitely need to check these bonus features out um yeah i think it's like also three hours of bonus features yeah it says it so it's Six hours. Wow. Six hours you'd be watching. But uh movies well deserved is my favourite film of last year. I know I spoiled the list again, but I've probably said it in a bunch of other videos. And then of course I had to put the next movie side by side. The next film I had to put beside Oppenheimer, because the meme of last year is B 
Barbie. Yeah, I did love this movie. I thought it was great. I seen it in the theater. I really liked it when I seen it in the theater. I liked it. But then I rewatched it on Blu-ray and thought it was amazing. Yeah, it's very funny. I do prefer Oppenheimer. The whole Barbenheimer craze. They both they both came out the same day, but I didn't go and see them on the same day. I saw Oppenheimer a few days after it came out, and then I saw Barbie like about a month or two after it came out because I didn't I didn't get around to seeing it when it first came out, but I I saw it eventually, um, in the theater and I loved it. You know, um, but I loved it and then I well I liked it and then I loved it again. Um, but um, I did see it in the cinema. Uh, so yeah, Barbie, great slipcase as well. Front, spine, back. A great movie about we fem feminism. I'm doing the fucking thing again. I said I wasn't gonna fucking do the fucking um um front spine back thing. Also, the hundred anniversary of Warner Brothers. I also keep forgetting that Universal owns Oppenheimer because it's so weird. Because usually it's Warner Brothers that owns a lot of uh, that works with Christopher Nolan. It's kind of, but they're they're in all their their whole fucking they have to compete with each other. Anyway, I love this pink fucking case as well. This is just lovely detail. Um, I feel like there's see what I mean. You get this on physical media. This is why it's great. You get that on streaming. And look, there's even a few things I didn't notice. Like, look at this. Um, I forgot about this. I rewatched the Blu-ray, but I forgot about the case. The inside of the case. Like, it's just it's amazing. It's having the best day ever. Yeah. You know, and then, like, Margot Robbie's amazing. And also, that fucking joke that was made at the Golden Globes was not funny. I'm sorry. Like, the, obviously the guy didn't see the fucking movie, so... Not to act offended, but, you know, what the fuck. Um, no Hard Feelings. Very funny movie uh, with Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is so fucking hot in this as well. I'm sorry. You also get to see her. You know. Um, funny movie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's by the director of Good Boys, which was one of my favourite films. Another one I missed in the theatre. I didn't see it in the cinema at all. Uh, one that I have not opened yet, for fuck, pulling out the other one, is South Park Post-Covid. These are two episode specials that came out, I think, in 2021, I want to say, or is it 2022? Oh, no, or is it, the DVD came out 2023, I think it was 2022. It came out 2022, yeah, I think, no, 2021, it was 2021, sorry. Um... Great specials, very very funny. Um, have yet to open this. I'm gonna try and open it now. I think. Um, Christ. Anyway, but um, yeah, I, I actually have to catch up on South Park. I still gotta watch season twenty five and season twenty six and the streaming wars and um, not suitable for children. All that. I have a lot to catch up on with South Park, but. Yeah, I've watched the first episode of season 25, I think it was awesome. I fucking love South Park, I still think it's amazing. I gotta collect the rest of the, I, I have the first 24 seasons, I gotta collect the rest of the specials. Motherfucker, open! For, you know what, to be fucking continued, you bollocks. God. It's like when my ex-girlfriend left. Anyway, that was, joke. that was a joke. Well, no, she did leave me, bitch. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Equalizer 3, one of my favourites of last year. I saw it in, this in cinema, but they didn't have the fucking subtitles on for the subtitle scenes, even though it's not a subtitle movie, but um, can't wait to rewatch the Blu-ray so I can fucking see the subtitles, what they were saying. Um, yeah, great action films. Actually, my favourite of the trilogy. Um, well, either that or the first one, I don't know. Second one's my least favourite, but I still enjoyed it. Um, and great to see the Man on Fire reunion as well. It was fucking badass. Denzel is a fucking badass. Um, um, we also have... Dungeons and Dragons, another movie I didn't see in theatre, but I watched it. Um, great movie. Great, really fucking fun. Um, 
enjoyable film. I I don't play D and D. My friends do, but um, I I love this as just a film in general. Like it's good that it stood on its own. So really like the the slipcase for this one actually. Um, yeah. But um, yeah. A very enjoyable film. I'll have a review. I'll have a review for a lot of these out soon. Um, so, yeah. In case you were wondering. In case you were wondering. Okay, hold on. Um, oh, now, another Jennifer Lawrence movie that's kind of the opposite of hard, No Hard Feelings. I mean, it's great, but it's depressing. Like. A Darren Aronofsky movie again as well. Mother. Brilliant fucking case, but I don't know. I love this, um, this like shiny kind of. It kind of adds to the creepiness. Like, oh fuck, um, fucked up movie. Very depressing. The most fucked up movie I've ever seen, honestly. Well, I watched Southborn today, so yeah. But um, brilliant movie though. Front spine, back. I I done it again. I d fucking done it again. I done it again. I done it again. Oh, done it. I done it again. So, um, yeah. yeah, I really like, like, I fucking love this film. Um, I, I wasn't going to watch it for years because I heard of what happened at the end because Matthew Davis told me, like, I asked, he asked me, is it okay if I spoil it? And I said, yeah, um, because it's fucked up. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Um, back when it first came out, I think this is like, 2017, 2018, something like that. Yeah, something around, or something like that, yeah. Um, it's like, because it says both fucking years on the back, so just to confuse me, yeah. Um, showed this Blu ray the other day. Um, Scream 6, one of my favorite films of last year as well. Uh, we'll finish my review of this. Love the slip cover for this one as well. Um, it's kind of similar to the slip cover for the fifth one which i have like up there as well somewhere but um i am still positive about scream 7 um i feel like it's all gonna work out in the end because everything works out in the end you know what i mean um that's my positive thinking obviously there's stuff that didn't work out in the end you know what i fucking mean right um but um yeah so scream 6 Fucking loved it. Uh, honestly, my second favourite next to the first one. Uh, I, I feel like you're never going to top that original movie. I just feel like that movie's like untouchable. I'm going to speed a few of these up. Um, I've OCD and I want to keep them all in the same order. Like, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, Shazam Fury of the Gods, which honestly I fucking love. I don't care what people say. I Once again, you got the 100 sticker on there. The thing on there. Love it. Um, you know, I love the first one as well, but um, I love this one. I, I prefer the first one. The first one's still better, but I I enjoyed this one as well. Um, the first one is still, as I said, the more superior movie. Um, just in my opinion. Um, I, I love Zachary Levi. Apparently, he's actually the, the new. He's in that fucking new Chicken Run movie as well. Apparently. Um, so, yeah. Then we have Renfield, which I, was honestly such a great movie. I, I loved it. I thought it was very funny. Some people hated it. I'm like, eh. Um, it's a, it's just up my street. Like, it's Nick, it's fucking Nicolas Cage and Nicholas Holt. Like, um, yeah. I can understand, like, my, my friend Jack Ogokic wasn't a fan of it. Because, like, he didn't, it, it didn't have Nicolas Cage a lot, but. When it did, it was kind of cool. And then we have Smile, which I only watched for the first time, and the sequel's out this year. I watched that, like, I watched this for the first time as well, recently. Um, Great fucking uh, horror film. Creepy as shit as well. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't get to see this in theaters in 2022, but... Yeah, and then also the A-Train from fucking The Boys is in it as well. Yeah. Uh, J is JP Usher or something? No, it's not JP. Something Usher. What's his face? Um, 
Jesse T. Usher. I don't know where the fuck I got JP. Wait, it's JP from fucking Bad Sisters. Like, what? Um. So, yeah. Uh, great film. What else do we have? Uh, and then, I lo this is one of my favourite fucking things I got. I got this really cool edition of Mandy. Um, I, I watched it for the first time recently as well. Brilliant fucking movie. Um, front... Like, like, just look at that. I'm not going to say the fucking spine back thing, but, like, look at that shit. This is just beautiful fucking thing. I, it came with this as well, but, like, this is, like, the, you know, to, to go on the fucking, and then there's the back of it. Um, but, um, but, yeah, and then, like, once again, this also came with a poster. It's a second, like, it's, like, two years in a row I got a Nicolas Cage film that comes with posters. And then it came with like a cool booklet as well and like a poster. And I'm gonna get this poster. I'm gonna get these posters framed. Um Yeah, oh I love the fucking smell of that. Hmm. Well. So Blu-ray. And for anyone who's in Ireland or the UK, if you watch Coronation Street, this is Ken Barlow's son. In real life. In real life. Um also I had no idea. The actress from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 was in it. I had no idea she was Irish. So, that's... Yeah. Good, good actress, just... That was a bad movie, but this is a good movie. So, I, I, I love this film. Um, it's... You know, you got Bill Duke is in there as well. You've Ned Dennehy. You've got fucking... You know... It's just a... A very... It's a great revenge flick. And it's funny, it's kind of like... The main character isn't like the main characters. It's great. It's kind of like the Zelda thing where it's like the main character's name is not the main character of the movie is not the name of the the character that's the movie's named after. That made no sense. You know what I mean? Um, got really cool edition of Chucky season two with a holographic slip cover. Um. This is the, uh, Good Guys Edition 2. I'm assuming they had one for the first one. I only have the regular Blu-ray of the first one. Um, but yeah, it comes with all this cool shit. Um, so, yeah, I got the title at the top of it there as well, which is, is so cool. But um, yeah, so we, we have all this. It's not the, the easiest shit to put back in. That's what she said. Eh. Um, so you got this, like... Hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play little kind of like pop up thing? Like he he pops up out of it. Like you can pull the thing off and whatever. Um, you've got a really cool booklet that I came with. Um, with just like season two and like just the the, the episode titles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just like just like the episode titles, you know, shit like that. Um. And, like, just stills from the, the episode, like, Lexi and, um, what's her face? Nadine. And we also got, like, cards and stills from the episodes. A little bit like that, um, licorice pizza thing I got. The, the Blu-ray for that. Um, that I got in 2022. Uh, Charles, uh, is it Charles, Chucky Season 2 Blu-ray. Just the regular, um, Blu-ray, and then like there's the two discs, of course, with the um each of the episodes on there. So uh, a great season. Um, I do prefer season one. I also do prefer season three so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of season three. Um, I miss. I I think season four will be out this year as well. I feel like they'd wait till October. You know, I feel like they they do have plans to do a season four. Um, which would be amazing. I hope it does. I, it'd be great to see the show continue on. It, it could, it'd be nice to actually see a horror TV show continue past the third season. I mean, I know that Bates Motel did, but like that's the only one I can actually think of. And I'm like, when I say horror, I mean like horror movies based off a movie. I don't mean like the likes of American Horror Story or anything like that. Um, but um, yeah. So great fucking show um 
love this Blu-ray. Love this edition so much. So cool. Uh, got deleted scenes on there as well. And then to the TV show front again, we got Cobra Kai season three. I'm so fucking happy to have this because I have season one and two and then like a two pack uh, Blu-ray set. Love this show. Karate Kid TV show, just amazing. Front, spine, back, great season. Fucking said it again. Um, and then the two discs. Um, so I love the the Roman numerals, like the Kai having the being the three. It's creative. Um, a movie that I really loved, watched for the first time, Jagged Edge. Um, Glenn Close and Jeff Bridges. Great erotic thriller. Um, yeah, kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, another one of my favorite films from last year that I talked about when I got out of the theater is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. I love this film. Um, it's my favorite in the trilogy. I can't believe the fourth one is going to be ten years old this year. Um, this is the best thing the MCU has done in a long time. Um, that and Loki season two and No Way Home are the best. I fucking hate, absolutely fucking hated Secret Invasion and She Hulk. Uh, Matrix trilogy. Um, I only watched the second one for the first time recently. I'd seen the first one before and then I rewatched the first one the other day. Really great edition. Love the first one. Love the second one. Have yet to watch the third one. I'm gonna watch that soon. Um. Find this the uh, fucking um that the uh, second one's underrated, and then you have the films out like this. First of all, like this is so well packaged. It's like the fucking Lord of the Rings thing as well. Like that I got, I believe is also Warner Brothers. Yeah, it. I think yeah, I, yeah, it is New Line Cinema. Fucking hell. Uh, well, it didn't own Warner Brothers at the time, but they own them now. You know what I mean? Anyway, they own them now. So there's the first film, um, classic, just great movie, um, got it there as well, um, great quality on this Blu-ray, um, great, great picture quality, so I'll put that back in the box, <gasps> I'm in the box, um, got the second movie, uh, Matrix Reloaded, um, you know, another great film as well. I, I really do not understand the hate for it, to be honest. Um, I still think the first one's better, but I'm like, this was great as well. And it's, it's also weird, the second and third one came out the exact same year. Like, a few months from each other as well. It's like, wow. That's um, that's risky when movies do that. Um, and then, Matrix Revolutions, which I will watch. Um maybe tomorrow or another day I'll, I'll watch it soon um I'm, i well i wanna because i want to see how the fuck it ends pretty much oh so yeah um great box set really happy to have this um it's a bit annoying to fucking slide back in there <laughs> that's what she said um because Look at the damage. This is one of the bad things with physical media. The damage does the bottom, but like physical media is still better than fucking streaming. So, you know, I still love streaming as well, but I prefer physical media. And then obviously the fourth Matrix film as well, Resurrections, which I heard a lot of people didn't like. This came out only like three years ago. So yeah, there's a lot of Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, he's he's amazing. Um, so I'm very curious about this one because I, I remember seeing the trailers and I'm kind of thinking. And also Lawrence Fishburne, like like it's kind of seeing it in a modern day be interesting, but also Lawrence Fishburne's not in this one, I don't think. So it's a bit I'm curious about that. Um, about I don't know why I went Scottish for a second there, but uh, Wes Anderson's new film Asteroid City. Um, I love this. I didn't get to see it in theater. I saw the um, I saw the fucking trailer. But I didn't get around to seeing it in the cinema. But um, I loved it. Loved it. Um, a lot of some people were mixed on it, but I'm like you know, I really enjoyed it. Uh, 
Puss in Boots and the Last Wish. I fucking love this film. This I saw this in cinema last year. Um, because it was early twenty twenty three. We got it. because uh, the Americans got it first. Um, that sounded so hostile. I didn't mean it like that. Um, great movie. I such a fucking surprise. It's even better than the first one. Like this film is just unbelievable. Um. Who is your favourite fearless hero? Yeah. Get the kitty soft boys. Um well worth the wait. Um and Shrek 5. So I'm excited for that. Fuck you. Go in, you fucking bastard, will you? Oh yeah. Anyway. Uh, whatever. Um next we have The Flash, which okay, looking back on my um my trailer video. I don't think that age as well. That I done last year. Uh, this is a good movie. I think it has. Well actually no. It's not a good movie. It's a terrible movie. But like. This is a movie that's bad. But I do like it. I did. I did enjoy it. Um, I was a, a little bit in denial. When I saw it. In my reaction video. But I, I have seen it a good few times. I do enjoy it. But at the same time. There's a lot of shitty stuff in it as well. Like the CGI is the worst thing. It is one of the worst pieces of CGI ever. Um, but there's some good scenes like the scene with Flash talking to his mother and then the Michael Keaton's Batman as well so um, yeah but uh, Nicolas Cage's cameo was just disappointing and he even said that AI was just like ridiculous so I don't know why I don't have Shazam next to that because, all, because I have this other movie Blue Beetle um, which is also got fucking Miguel from Cobra Kai, uh, the solo thingy in it. But um, yeah, it's also a DC film. Um, I really love this one though. Like I know a few people didn't. Like I thought this was such a wholesome, like fun movie. I mean, it, it was a bit of a mess, and I did not every joke landed. There was some cringe jokes. I didn't like the fart joke. Um, it's like a bunch of other things you've seen, but I don't know. I found it fun. Um. It's not the start of James Gunn's new DCU because they ended it. Um, but then again, some people say it is. I don't know. But um, great film anyway. Now, next is it. Fuck me. Oh my god. This is the one thing I hate about slip covers. Like, you want to put them in safely. And then the fucking. It's always the edge of it always fucking has to, like, peel off a little bit. I'm like, bro, seriously. Oh, I fucking hate it. Um, maybe I need to not put my slip covers next to each other. Um, yeah, and then the dust comes up, gets on them later on. But next is the thing I was actually really surprised I got because I watched it and then I rewatched it on the Blu-ray. It's a documentary, Living with Chucky, which is about Tony Gardner's daughter, um, making a documentary about Chucky, and it's fucking great. It goes into detail of the seven movies. Um, well, they don't really talk about Child's Play Three a lot, and I think it could be. Because of the controversy, but I could be wrong about that. But it's great you get insight from like the cast, like Brad Dora from Billy Boyd and Jennifer, fucking Tilly and Alex Vincent, Fiona Dorif, and even like people who aren't in the movies, like Abigail Breslin and um, fucking Marilyn Waynes and like Lynn Shay from Insidious and Nightmare on Elm Street, um, and even the fucking creator Phineas and Ferb is in it as well. So that's it. Very fun documentary. Um, it is in Child's Play. Living with Chucky. Uh, won awards. Um, also, can I just... Oh, John Waters in as well. Can I also just say that uh, I probably fucking said the front spine back thing, did I? Yeah, go on, replay it. <laughs> uh, Fablemans. Love this film. Done a review on it. Um, fucking great movie. Uh, Spielberg. Um, also love the fact that there's like... Two sides on that slip cover that are just like covered up awesomely. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's um. That's what that one is off. Fuck me. Thirty four minutes. I didn't think it was gonna take this long. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah. So. I love how they put the main actor last because he's not as big of a star as other people which i'm like fuck off with that i hate when they do that 
Um, movie from last year that I absolutely loved. And this franchise continues to be amazing. Fucking Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Um, which is weird because apparently number 8 is going to be called something different. But I absolutely love this film. I thought this film was amazing. Uh, I saw this in theatre. It was just amazing. Uh, I love this fucking slip cover. It, it is phenomenal. Um, such a fucking phenomenal movie. I, I like my favorite is still Ghost Protocol, but I, I genuinely don't think there's a bad installment in any in this film. I don't care. I still love the second one. The second one's my least favorite, but like it's still it's it's fucking amazing. Um. My friend loves number three the most, and obviously my friend Matthew Davis likes Fallout. A lot of people think Fallout is the best one. Um, I love Fallout as well. Don't get me wrong; I think Fallout is phenomenal, but this one I think is fucking much better. Um, and we got a film that I have on DVD, but I the DVD is fucking annoying because it it's I have to do this code to make it work, but it has a Blu-ray. Monster Squad, which is like, I think it's like a fucking German Blu-ray, so it's got Monster Busters over there. Amazing fucking artwork, first of all. Like, look at that. That's fucking class. Uh, I love Monster Squad. It's been nearly 10 years since I watched it. Um, have the DVD, but like, I haven't been able to fucking re-watch the DVD because I have to do this fucking bullshit um, to watch it. Like, fuck off. Like, you know, I have to do this fucking annoying bullshit to watch it again. Um, this is an American DVD, but anyway, um, so yeah, there's a reversible cover with a different poster, which is awesome. Um, and um, that one has the Monster Squad on it. Um, I am weird in the way that I don't like to reverse the slip covers. I don't the covers. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just my OCD. I don't know. Uh, Air Force One, great movie. Watched this for the first time as well. Um, yeah, great film. So we have that. We also have a movie sequel that I actually was quite surprised how much I enjoyed it. Um, it's by the director of Dolmite Might Is My Name. Um, Coming to America 2, which I was actually shocked that I got this on Blu-ray. Because this is an Amazon Prime original so like i was actually happy that i got this um so yeah uh fuck it was um but i i actually thought this was really funny it's not obviously the first one is still better but like um you know it was a good great movie um like the first one like i had issues with it but it wasn't you know as like i, I still think the first one is the better one um, but uh, yeah, so we got that. Um, what else we have? Oh shit. Um, God, we still have a good few more. Fuck. Uh, this video might go on for a while. Well, not a while, but you know. Um, right. Gonna just go through the next few of these. Okay. Um, we got Empire of the Sun. A uh, Spielberg film. Haven't watched this yet. Um, Christian Bale's a kid in it, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, Insidious Chapter Three. Um, was the only one I hadn't seen, and then I watched it, and I loved it. Thought it was amazing. Um, not as good as the first two or the fifth one. Yes, I said that. I have an unpopular opinion. Sue me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I enjoyed it. This movie is fucking hilarious. Um, it's kind of one of those so bad it's funny movies. Extra. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty funny. Apparently there's sequels. I hadn't heard of it before. It's a British horror film. But um, yeah. I, en I enjoyed it. Like I, I, I thought it was kind of entertaining or whatever. It was actually great in some parts as well. Like the, the toy soldier coming to life and killing people was class. Anyway. <laughs> way I said that. Three hour movie review I done. One of my favourite films of last year. The Super Mario Bros movie. Uh, Power Up Edition. I've seen this movie so much at this stage. Um, I will have another review out for this though. I, like, I would say maybe in a few years. Um, 
yeah, so we have the, the disc is, I love how the disc is Luigi. Um, I just love that. I love that the disc is Luigi and not Mario. As if to say, yeah, bro, fuck you. I'm the one that got kidnapped, so I need some spotlight. Um, but yeah, I made a lot of videos on this film anyway, so great movie. Um, ugh, check my review out. And then we have Pearl, the sequel to X. I am looking forward to Maxine, which is out this year. I love Pearl. I will have a review out for this. I've seen it twice now because um, I reviewed X. And I got to review Pearl. So, yeah. For fuck's sake. Anyway, sorry, that was fucking accidental. And also Mia Goth is fucking hot. I'm sorry what she is. Sorry, Shia LaBeouf. Please don't kill me. I was just complimenting your lovely wife, girlfriend, wife, girlfriend, wife, I don't know, I think they're married, I don't know, um, yeah, so, now we have, next we have, uh, shit, warrior, fuck you, you're in my joke, bitch, warriors come out to play, so yeah, the Warriors, great movie. Got the Blu-ray here. Um, you know, watch it for the first time. Great film. Uh, we'll have a review for this out soon as well. Film I've not watched yet. Um, I just don't think I take took the Blu-ray out since Christmas Eve. Um, but some of those like slasher films I'll probably enjoy. Is Chopping Mall. So, yeah. Chopping mall. I haven't taken out of the plastic yet either. So I'll see if I can actually fucking do that. I'm like fucking South Park one. Fucking bastard. Uh, oh, oh, it's working. Thank you. You're actually working now. Ooh. Do no 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 no. There we go. So that was weird. No 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 no. Look at that disc. Great. Great design there. Fucking, if I fucking turn around. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's a reversible cover. Oh, no, it's not. Um, buy or die. Love the, love the fucking tagline. Um, okay, next up we got... For fuck's sake, man. Get in there. Ooh, daddy. That's what she said. Anyway. Um, we got... Evil Dead Rise, I love this movie, and um, it was great that it was directed by an Irish person, and someone I know actually knows the director, and is actually good friends with the director, so, well, not someone that I know, but someone that I've met before, okay, fucking leave me alone, and he probably gives talks to my college soon, as well, so, is that is cool, um, Dune, First one, I cannot wait for the second one. I fucking love Dune. Um, it was great. Uh, I haven't taken the Blu-ray out. The fucking, I've seen it, but I haven't taken the plastic off. I, I wish I seen it in the theater. I didn't. But I actually rejected going to see it for some reason. I don't know. What, I don't know. I think I, I think it was because the Sopranos was out at the same time or something. I don't know. It makes sense in New York. Um, case, yeah, you know, the, you know the story, anyway, um, and it even ha has the Dune Part 2 coming soon thing, so that's kind of cool, that is cool, well, no, kind of cool, yeah, um, next we have The Missing Link, I only watched this for the first time recently, I loved it, um, thought it was actually very funny, I love Lakia, um, yeah, great animated film. One of my favourite TV shows of last year, The Last of Us. I have not actually played the games, but I have watched this TV show. Um, I'm going to re-watch it as well. I love this show so much, and I cannot wait for season two. Um, yeah, it is. I watched it as it came out. It was just amazing HBO show. Um, uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck you. Um, just like proof that video game 
related adaptations can be amazing. I know I, I know some people I don't think were crazy on the finale. Like some people I know anyway. Um I did feel like the finale was a bit rushed, but I still loved it overall. Um some of my favourite episodes I think one of my favourite episodes was um Honestly was uh episode eight was fucked up, but I, I thought it was one of the best ones. Um it was just so intense, but yeah. Um they recreate the game poster as well. Bella Ramsey like was absolutely phenomenal in this. You got the photos and you know, she was she was great as or sorry, they were great as Ellie. Um as Ellie, so you got um I don't know how many discs are in this the, yeah. Oh jeez. See I'm so worried to fucking hold this up because I don't wanna fuck the casing up or like the photo. But yeah, you got four discs in this. So yeah. Um so yeah, it's like four altogether, like approximately it's five hundred and twenty minutes long. So a great fucking show. Absolutely love it. Um, if you haven't seen it, you're fucking mad. Anyway, I'm joking. Joking! Relax! Don't fucking cancel me, you fucking overly offended fucking wankers. Um, the Omen trilogy. Uh, I've only seen the first one. Love the first one. Um, gotta watch the second and third one. And there is a fourth one as well, and there's a remake. Um, and for some reason, they have Damien Omen 2. First. I don't. I don't get that. And then they have the third one, and then the first one last. I don't get that. And then there's a new one coming out as well this year. Um, or something. So I don't know what the fuck it's called. Uh, is it The Last Omen or some shit like that? I don't know. Um, but I love the first one. Yeah. Um, brilliant. Oh, fuck's sake. Brilliant movie. Uh, the Last Detail. Jack Nicholson. Um, underrated film because no one talks about it. But um, watch this for the first time as well. I will have a review out for that too. So. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Um, next we have a remake I actually surprisingly enjoyed. Um, but it's not a patch in the original. Psycho. Um, I watched it. Honestly, I watched it because of the cast. And, and like... Like... To be honest, I've already seen all the Bates Motel and the first two Psycho films. I need to watch the other two because I've had the other two for years. Um, I will have a review out for this, but I'll review the other ones. The original and the second one are the two best. But, um, yeah. Well, I still haven't seen the other ones. So, yeah. We also have um, Romeo is Bleeding. I have not seen this yet. Um, it's Gary Oldman. You know, um, yeah, it's Gary Oldman and it's Juliet Lewis, um, and Lena. Oh, oh shit! Oh, there's other people. Fuck! I actually have not looked at the case of this that much. Holy fuck! It's only had it for like a month anyway. So, but yeah, um, Romeo is bleeding. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this. Is this like? This comes with a booklet. Okay, this comes with a booklet and the. Okay, what? The, okay, if the booklet wants to fucking stay in there. That's what she said. Yeah. For fuck. Oh my god! Don't go in, you bollocks. Anyway. But yeah, um, that's what she said again. Okay, so yeah, uh, Romeo is bleeding. Um. Yeah. Um. Juliet is weeping. Okay. Um, what else do you have? The Wicker Man, Nicolas Cage. I've done a commentary on this. First time reaction. Um, this is the remake. The remake is, is like... I, I still liked it, though. I, I don't know. It's bad, but I enjoyed it. Like The original is a million times better, though. Um, fuck. Hold on. I don't know if this is the... I think this is the theatrical cut. Fuck me. Where's the extended cut? Like... Motherfucker. Anyway. Matter checker, dude. Oh, cringe. Anyway. um, Next, we have a 4K Ultra HD 
of Close Encounters of a Third Kind that comes with a Blu-ray. I've not actually seen this movie. Yeah, shocker. Um, yeah, another Spielberg film. Um, okay, so it comes with a Blu-ray. Um, it comes with uh. Okay, hold on. Wait, sorry. Wait, sorry. It comes with um. The 4K here, um, whatever. It comes, you know, why don't I just show it? It doesn't matter. I wish there was the option to just, like, flick the camera around while I'm recording. Fucking dumbass phone. Anyway, fucking stop. Stop, okay? There's the Blu-ray, uh, the scorn feature. And then there's the 40th anniversary edition. So, which is, like, the special features Blu-ray, um. It's like the bottom there. Um, different designs. But uh, yeah. Um, I'd say it's a great movie. I'm going to watch it soon. Um, not tonight, but like eventually. And then I got the Scary Movie Trilogy. These are the only ones worth owning. I have, well, although I have the fourth one on DVD and I have the others on DVD. I'm still keeping the DVDs. But I wanted to upgrade them. Um, so I got them. Um, I don't like... Scary Movie 5, I'm not owning that fucking awful movie. Um, I like, I, I honestly, I like the third one as well, but it's just, I, I'd say the first two, to me, are the two best ones. Um, and then, last but not least, I have not seen this film yet either, is Amsterdam, um, David O. Russell. Um, yeah, oh, and Tay Tay's in this as well, Tay Tay. Taylor Swift. Um, so what a cast. I mean, you got fucking Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, John David Washington, Chris Rock, Anya Taylor Joy, Zoe Saldana. She's in this as well. Fucking hell. Mike Myers, Michael Shannon, Timothy Oliphant, or Elephant. <laughs> Oliphant. I, mean, I know his name is Oliphant, right? I'm joking, okay? Andrea Reese Abura Ruff. Um, I can't say that. Taylor Swift. Martina Skrzybicza, Rami Mar Rami Malek is in this. Robert De Niro. Oh my fucking god! Great cast. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch this soon. Uh, yeah, my throat is starting to hurt now, but uh, better than a toothache. So that is it with the movies. Um, as for other stuff, I got, I got, um, oh, I'm a fucking ass getting that. Jesus Christ. I got this really cool Korg figure. I'm not even going to bother showing her that. And I got this Shang-Chi figure there. And then I got this fucking butter ball uh, from Hellraiser figure. Which I kind of find funny. Because I actually got the other two that I have in that set. I got in 2013 Christmas. And then I got that one in 2023. So 10 years later. Because it took 10 years to get the one. Which is kind of cool. But um... We also have Miles Morales up there, Fatso from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, uh, a Peacemaker, and a Glow in the Dark Chucky. Let's fucking test that out, actually, because I fucking, I'm not convinced, because I, it has not worked yet, and I, I don't think you need to put batteries in it at all, it's one of those kind of, hold on, where is it? Chucky, can I see you? Can I see you? I don't know. I don't know. It's there. It's, you know what I mean? Like, I don't fucking know. It's not... Like, okay. So there's Glow in the Dark Chucky. Who looks like a fucking Simpsons character, but it's great. Bride of Chucky. Um, yeah, I got a few t-shirts, but I don't know if they're all out at the moment. No, that's not one of them. Um, but yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Some of them could be in the wash, actually. I don't know. But, um... I got... Okay, I got Warrior, a t-shirt from the Warriors. I got a South Park, South Park t-shirt. I got a Scarface t-shirt. Um, I got a fucking... Uh... Yeah, the Warriors, Scarface, um, 
South Park. Oh, there's something else as well. There's some other fucking film I got as well. I feel. Uh, mm. Oh, I can't fucking remember. Uh, but yeah, I got, look, I got a few fucking t-shirts, right? Um, I also got these Stranger Things socks and fucking body wash because I'm smelly. Um, and I got a gift card. So, there was a lot. I got spoiled, okay? Um, because I'm great, you know? I deserve, I deserve everything. Anyway, uh, yeah. God, I feel like there's another t-shirt I got and it's not coming to my fucking head. I guarantee I'll fucking think about it before. You know what I mean? So, Scarface. Um, yeah, Scarface fucking South Park. The Warriors came out to play.